that uh, bin Laden separated his, his leaders, spread them around because he expected an attack, and there was no response. I understand that hindsight is always 20-20. No, let's talk about it. But the question is, no. why didn't you do okay. more, connect the dots, and put them out of business? All right, let's talk about it. I will answer all those things on the merits, but first I want to talk about the context in which this arises. I'm being asked this on the Fox network. ABC just had a right-wing conservative running uh, their little pathway to 9-11, falsely claiming it was based on the 9-11 Commission report, with three things asserted against me directly contradicted by the 9-11 Commission report. And I think it's very interesting that all the conservative Republicans who say I didn't do enough claimed that I was too obsessed with bin Laden, all of President Bush's neocons thought I was too obsessed with bin Laden. They had no meetings on bin Laden for nine months after I left office. All the right-wingers who now say I didn't do enough said I did too much. Same people. They were all trying to get me to withdraw from Somalia in 1993 the next day after we were involved in Black Hawk Down, and I refused to do it and stayed six months and had an orderly transfer to the United Nations. Okay, now let's look at all the criticisms. Black Hawk Down, Somalia. There is not a living soul in the world who thought Osama bin Laden had anything to do with Black Hawk Down or was paying any attention to it or even knew Al-Qaeda was a going concern in October of 93. I, I, I understand. I, no, I, I no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Don't tell me this. You asked me why did I do more to bin Laden. There was not a living soul. All the people who now criticize me wanted to leave the next day. You brought this up, so you get an answer. Uh, but I, you I'm can't perfectly do happy to right. take right. it. Secondly, bin Laden says that but bin Laden may have said bin Laden says, that, but it showed the weakness of the United but States. But it, it, it would have shown the weakness if we'd left right away. But he wasn't involved in that. That's just a bunch of bull. That was about Muhammad Adid, a, a Muslim warlord, murdering 22 Pakistani Muslim troops. We were all there on a humanitarian mission. We had no mission, none, to establish a certain kind of Somali government or keep anybody out. He was not a religious fanatic. Mr. President, there was no Al Qaeda. With respect, if I may, with that, with, instead of going through '93 and no, 96, no, you ask it. You I, brought it up. May I, may I ask you a general question and then you can answer? Yeah. The 9/11 Commission, you, which you talk about, and this is what they did say, not what ABC pretended they yeah. said. What did they say? They said about you and President Bush, and I quote. The U.S. government took the threat seriously, but not in the sense of mustering anything like the kind of effort that would be gathered to confront an enemy of the first, second, or even third rank. That, first of all, that's not true with us and bin Laden. Well, I'm telling you, that's and, what the 9-11 right, Commission Let's look at what Richard Clark said. Do you think Richard Clark has a vigorous attitude about bin Laden? Yes, I do. You I do, don't he has, you? He has a, a variety of opinions and loyalties, right. but yes, no, he right, has a vigorous wait, opinion. Yeah, he has a variety of opinions and loyalties now, but let's look at the facts. He worked for Ronald Reagan. He was loyal to him. He worked for George H.W. Bush. He was loyal to him. He worked for me, and he was loyal to me. He worked for President Bush. He was loyal to him. They downgraded him and the terrorist operation. Now, look what he said. Read his book and read his factual assertions, not opinions, assertions. 